Hey guys, on here today we're going to be checking out the movie Stardust. This was the winner of our latest movie poll over on Patreon, and if you're a member on the channel, you have to vote as well. I know absolutely nothing about this film at all, except that I believe Charlie Cox is in this. I think that was like one of the primo things that got people to put this on here. I was kind of surprised that it won, honestly. I don't even remember a trailer for this. I don't remember hearing anything about it. I've got no idea what this movie is even about. But guys, if you're interested in putting that forth your own suggestions or helping vote in what movies get picked each month, you can do that by heading over to our Patreon or if you become a memorable channel, it gets you access to that as well. Any tier gets to vote. If you are a champion or higher, you get access to the watch along a month before the actual YouTube edit comes out. So you can sync up with your own copy, watch my entire reaction, and then eventually it'll be up on YouTube for everybody to watch. You also get the full length watch alongs for all the movies and shows that we cover here on the channel. You also get monthly Q and A's, behind the scenes footage, trying to make it worth your while since you're going to be support the channel, guys. You haven't, you haven't missed yet on all the winners so far. I've enjoyed all of them. I don't think there has been one I've even like slightly not enjoyed. I'm hoping that we keep that track record up because right now we got a pretty strong one. So let's go ahead and strap in and dive into Stardust. But remember, if you enjoy this, make sure to leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already, and let's hop into this film. Here we go. Are we human because we gaze at the stars? Or do we gaze at them? Is that Ian McKellen? Do the stars gaze back? Now that's a question. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Sounds like him. I am charged with guarding the portal to another world, and you're asking me to just let you through? Yes. <laughs> let's be honest, it's a field. Do you see another world out there? No, you see a field. Do you see anything non-human? No. And you know why? Because it's a field. Non-human. Literally everything out in that vantage point is not human. By definition. Stop. Like if he had like jumped through that crack and like whoop, through like a portal or some shit, that would have been funny. Oh, what in the world? Were those Siamese elephants? It looked like they were attached. I don't deal with time wasters. Get over here and tend this stall. I'm off to the slaughter prince for a pint. Or is this just normal? What does that cost? This one costs a kiss. I don't know if I have any of those. What do you want of me? <laughs> What happened? The wall had successfully done its job of hiding the magical kingdom of Stormhold. Okay. The young man returned that night to his home in England. But he seems so unfazed. Maybe he's been there before. This was left at the wall for you. Oh, Tessier, wow. Tristan. Tristan. Good job, man. <laughs> wow. I, I do kind of wish this was kind of set up a little differently in the oh there he is baby face Charlie he must win the heart of his one true love Damn. <laughs> he's of two worlds Tristan Thorne shot boy by day peeping Tom by night is there no end to your charms is that Henry Cavill I'm having trouble remembering if there was anything you were good at. Humphrey, that's enough. <laughs> that smug little like smirk he gave him. Anyway, I think I got completely distracted from what I was gonna say. I kind of wish we got the setup before the old guy was like, this separates these worlds. Oh look, I'm sorry about last night. Humphrey was really rude. Um, I also need a sack of potatoes and some chocolate, please. May I perhaps see you tonight? You young and pretty, you cut the line. Father, I lost my job. Father, I lost my job, I'm sorry. <laughs> Father, you, you lost your job. Dork. Wow. I can tell you that every man 
I ever envied when I was a boy has led an unremarkable life. So you don't fit with a popular crowd. Now, I take that as a very good omen. You know, you know, same, actually. I've never had champagne before. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Oh, well, oh huh, God. okay. <laughs> the word is he's planning to propose to me on my birthday. He's gonna, and you're gonna say yes. <laughs> I can't exactly say no after he's gone all the way to Ipswich. Oh, yeah, you can. For your hand in marriage, I would go to the gold fields of San Francisco and bring you back your weight in gold. <laughs> I'd go to Africa and bring you back a diamond as big as your foot. <laughs> I'd, I'd go to the Arctic and I'd, I'd steal a slaughter a polar bear. <laughs> <and you'd laughs> I was gonna say steal a penguin, but fight a polar bear. I should be going. It's really late. Well, hold, hold on a minute. Let's at least finish the champagne. Okay. I get it, man. I get it. You're smitten. Well, it's Secundus. He's on his way, father. Then we shall wait. Sorry I'm late, father. What is this movie? With tradition, I had 12 brothers. And you killed them all for your throne before your father, the king, even felt poorly. Oh, Mark Strong. We know, father. You're strong and courageous. I, it's hard to recognize him with hair, but I recognize his voice. Look through the window. Tell me what you see. I don't recognize anybody else, though. Not just right off the bat. I see the kingdom, father. The whole of Stormhold. Um, my kingdom? Maybe. Look up. Oh! Oh, what the f- <laughs> Oh! <laughs> he was like, about to do it to him, too! <laughs> what the fuck is this? Oh well, at you lost your looks. <laughs> oh please, you're not annoyed about that whole murder thing, are you? I mean, that was ten years ago. Mm, yeah. No one dude's just got an axe in his head, I just noticed. Una? No, father, it's, 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 it's me. Where is your sister? Nobody has seen her in for years now. Oh! Is she the one that bedded what's his face duncan dunstan sorry not duncan one of you that does so shall be the new king of stormhold did, did he did he just cast that spell and just immediately die I'd cross the wall and I'd bring you back that fallen star. Nobody crosses the wall. Now you're just being silly. If you can't cross the wall, how's what's his fuck gonna get a get a ring for you? <laughs> Holy shit. It <laughs> Good thing that didn't hit the town. But did it land in the in the magical realm beyond unaffecting the real world or the, the the our world rather oh uh <laughs> okay <laughs> all right i'm so confused a star has fallen So we got three witches now. Oh. Oh. I mean, it is who it is. I, you know, you, you'd have to, you have to appreciate. <laughs> How could you not? Well, you can forget it. Go home. Cross the wall as well as who? No one. <laughs> Nobody. Nobody crosses the wall. You know they are. Nobody sees the wizard. <laughs> you know, no, I, no, I know. I understand. Nobody. Well, I, I better just head for the old homestead then. Yeah. Right then. Is this guy just here twenty four seven? Or are there shifts? Oh my, dude, you got. Oh wow, he learned. Holy shit, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? 
It's like, not again. Off you go. Never again. <laughs> oh my watch. What the hell? Dude, that caught me off guard. So she, so did that necklace like go up and bop a star out of alignment and she's the star? Or, or what? She's up there hanging out, just chilling. This thing just came up and just like, conk! And she's like, fell down. I mean, I have a mother. She, she could still be alive. Oh, I hope so. Certainly like to think so. A chain you cut. <laughs> just like you said. I would be remiss if, you know, if, you know, she was alive. Like, what for what reason did she pass him off to the other side? In the basket. Never oh. Ended. Okay, maybe, maybe. Well, let's read it. I need some explanations. My dearest Tristan, please know that I only ever wanted the best for you. Had my mistress allowed it, I would have kept you in a hole. Mm. My dearest wish is that we will meet someday. The fastest way to travel is by candlelight. To use it, think of me and only me. I will think of you every day for always. Your mother. So we got a teleportation candle. Do you, have, do you have a light? <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, screw you, guard. <laughs> oh, oh, mother, I'm so, I'm so sorry. Are you all right? No, I'm, I'm not, and I'm not your mother. So get off me. You're not my mother. Do I look like I'm your mother? No. Sorry. Hey, we don't know how things work over here. You know, elves, they don't age long. I don't know what magic happens over here. Oh my God, like, light the candle and think of me. I was, I was thinking of my mother. But then Victoria and the star just popped into my Oh, good job. So it, it'll take you wherever you're thinking. Or, if you want to be really specific, up there's where this weird bloody necklace came out of nowhere and knocked it out of the heavens when it was minding its own business. <laughs> That's exactly what I said! This is where it got hit by a magical flying moron. You're the star. You're the star. Yeah, just take her back to Victoria. Sure, that'd be a lovely conversation. Nothing says romance like the gift of a kidnapped, injured woman. What the? I'm not going anywhere with you. <laughs> what is this movie, man? Join me in a toast. What a very good idea. To the new king of Stormhold. Whichever of you fine fellows it might be. The new king of Stormhold. How much of this is poisoned? <laughs> Are you serious? Why would it was so delayed with the other two? That was hilarious. Oh. Okay. You really thought that you were king? <laughs> what if you killed the bishop? No, Primus. I think you'll find that you killed the bishop. Oh, look. When you finish wrestling with your conscience, may I suggest you return to your chamber? Leave the quest for the stone to me. Okay, so the other brother, though, is dead. <laughs> Just how are you planning to get me back to the sky? Rocket, catapult. Oh, that would work. Got a Babylon candle. Yeah, I have a bubbling candle. <laughs> bubbling candle. <laughs> God, this is so goofy. I like how he's. Ooh. Gotta watch how much power you use. Wow. I like that he turned into a ginger goat, though. Uh, uh, uh. 
He's the only one in a su in a normal condition. At least he's not like permanently gagging, like on the poison for all eternity. One can never be too careful. Sit down. I'll get you a seat. Oh yeah, I thought I recognized the uh, the symbols on the the door from earlier. Wow. It to be. I need to know more about what happened there because I guess she like she said she was a princess so she's the missing sister they haven't talked about oh my god there's no bones in that at all that's just shaped meat you shall not see the star touch it smell or hear it you will not perceive her even if she stands before you. Jesus. So dramatic. And I quote, I just do. I do, though. <laughs> I just do. <laughs> look, we're, go we're going north, all right? The wall's north. And if, if you look up in the sky, even during the day, you can see the, the evening star. That's so weird. It's funny. Is she that evening star? I never stay up this late. Just please let me sleep. Okay, you, well then, I'll, you sleep. I'll um, go, I'll go and get something to eat. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? Making sure you don't. This is so messed up, man. Am I the seventh son? Yes. Is my favorite color blue? <laughs> Isn't his name Septimus too? Yes. Has excessive begging or pleading ever persuaded me to spare the life of a traitor? <laughs> what does that mean? That means no. Good. Throw them again. This time, throw them high. Do you work for my brother? Oh, wow. That was dramatic. I like that. I like that. Oh. Yo! <laughs> it's Arthur Weasley. Whoa. Dude, how is this display of magic not completely tap her out if those simple spells from earlier started to drain her like that? <laughs> See, this dude was straight up a goat. Like, like a goat goat from the get-go. Is he not even gonna know what to be like a human's like? And the other kid is gonna... <laughs> He's just going along with this. <laughs> oh, this is going to be great. Come on. Let's get on the haunted carriage. Oh my god. Just the way he just pinged right off of it. Get on. Oh, yes. Thank you. Get up. Get up. Dude, just be thankful you're not in the cabin with all the dead guys. How do you like your bath? Warm, hot, or boiling lobster? Oh, I honestly don't know. So some interesting settings right there. And your leg. Any improvement? It's extraordinary. The very least I could do. I'm just glad you're feeling better. You seem happier in yourself. I like the continuity. Oh, she's starting to glow. Man, I like all these different story threads all just kind of like weaving around all at the same time into one another.
Nope, she's not shining anymore. Thank you. That's so kind. Thank you very much. Uh, my name's Tristan. What, what's yours? Bernard. <laughs> God damn it, man. Oh, now he's going to join your ranks. Yep, there he is. Oh, and he's naked with a slit throat. Dude, Poison Guy lucked out. Why is he bleeding blue? Dude, he's got a good, like, flat jump, man. My horn of dispel magic, man. Knock the goat right out of him. Oh! Oh, uh, that was... That was a good... That was a good move, though. Damn. That was bold and quick thinking. What are they standing on? You stupid cow! God damn, these people are horrible! How did anyone get them with a net? No. No. What the fuck? Is this a sky ship? Can you, can you milk my nipples, Greg? <laughs> can you milk me? <laughs> they are, aren't they? It is an airship. Holy sh... This movie is insane. It's literally like a fever dream half the time. For better or for worse. Shot boy like me. I could never have imagined an adventure this big in order to have wished for it. If there's one thing I learned in all my years watching her, is that people aren't what they may seem. And there are shop boys, and there are boys who just happen to work in shops for the time being. And trust me, Tristan, you're no shop boy. You're also a kidnapper. <laughs> <laughs> what is this Tom just doing out here? There's the goat. What happened? Oh, duh. The spell dissipated. Okay. Stop. Duh, 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 duh. Okay. Well, why don't you find it? It was conjured, so. But the tub was real? The whole time? Honestly, I'm surprised he spared the kid. You should return now. One of us set out in your place. Don't be absurd. I'll bring her home and deal with her there. Be sure everything is ready for our arrival. Those two also look familiar to me, but I just cannot place it. I'm getting a lot of that throughout this movie, though. The little I know about love is that it's unconditional. It's not something you can buy. This wasn't about me buying her love. Uh, yeah, it's kind of... I'll just tip you over the side and have done with it. It's a very long way down. Plenty of time to reminisce about your pitifully short lives. Please. Is he put on a show knowing they're listening or? I'm taking the girl to my cabin and mark my words. Anyone who disturbs me for the next few hours will get the same treatment. What, you? No, you idiot. I'll sleep you over the side as well. <laughs> Good God. Where in God's name did you get that mannequin from? Oh, it works every time. An ounce of bargaining, a pinch of trickery, a soup zone of intimidation. Et voila, the perfect recipe for it. I did seem like it, it did seem like he was putting on a performance. I just didn't, I couldn't place the motivation. 
Oh, what in the world? Out of those dreary clothes. So very small town errand boy, howlingly parochial. Wow, this was a surprise. I have some lovely dresses. Take your pick. Oh, no, really, I'm fine. Honey, you're wearing a bathrobe. <laughs> England, England. I want to hear everything. You're not from England. Oh, no, Sally, no. But from my earliest youth, I lapped up the stories to scurry away from my father at the market while he did his deals, just to peek over the wall. Really? So you, you were here looking over there? Oh, yes. Mmm. Interesting. The pressure of maintaining the whole Captain Shakespeare persona for the sake of the crew. Ugh, I don't know. Sometimes, mm, Oh, wow. What the fuck? When did that happen? Surely it'll make you happier just to be yourself. Why fight to be accepted by people you don't actually want to be like? Yeah. Why would anyone do that to himself? <laughs> 200. 180. 200. That's not negotiation. I'm changing my number. <laughs> Did I hear 200? <laughs> you, you, did. Yeah. you said 200. If I did, you're a ventriloquist. Okay, 195, final offer. 195 it is. So with sales tax, that's, let's see, 200. <laughs> <laughs> that may be one of my favorite scenes of this movie so far. Captain Shakespeare. Stand down. <laughs> be my nephew, the fisher buccaneer, Tristan Thorne. He'll be joining us by journey home. He looks like he fits into this side of the wall now a little bit. Oh, and he's wearing the little, uh, the flower his mom had. He pulls off those locks pretty well, man. Oh, when he goes back, is he going to be able to whoop Humphrey's ass? I hope so. Oh, I did not expect Robert De Niro in this movie, man. That was a that's a pleasant surprise. I mean, this whole movie so far has been quite the present pleasant surprise as well. Oh, so are they harvesting lightning rather than catching fish? They're like netting lightning. So that's what he was selling back there is like bottled lightning. Not only just am I surprised that he's in here, but I'm surprised as like how much he's getting himself involved. Touché. Touchy, as some might say. <laughs> Oh, she's glowing! Evane, I know what you are. Ah, oh, her glow went away. I've been glowing more brightly every day, and I think you know why. Hmm. And what do stars do best? Well, serving other walls. <laughs> kind of roasted right there. Oh. 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 Hmm, okay. this is cute. Settle for this woman who has <laughs> developed Stockholm Syndrome. You're sure? Absolutely sure. Sure you're not lying. Better be telling the truth, you two-faced dog. I can get you one of them. <laughs> it's terrible. Face like a bag of frogs. Ugly frogs. Yep. Enough. <laughs> oh. <laughs> They were in the splash zone, man. Oh, how can we ever thank you enough for your kindness? Don't mention it. No, seriously, don't mention it. Reputations, you know, a lifetime to build, seconds to destroy. <laughs> Just think about it. 
Hmm. So what's in that? Is it a telescope or is it bottled lightning? Mind you, don't wear that wench out, Captain Tristan. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say to you? Hmm? What did he say when? Just then, when he whispered to you. No, no, he did, he was just saying we should use the lightning. It is lightning. Okay, cool. Hell yeah. Are you mocking me? Because if you are, believe me, you have wow. to live. Ah. <laughs> uh... We're making good time. Just leave it a minute. What's that poking me? Oh, um. Immortality? <laughs> That's not what he was thinking about right there. Maybe if you had someone to share it with, someone you love, maybe then it might be different. Oh, that took her glow away. This movie never ceases to just keep me, like, off my toes. Like, I'm just always, like, on my back heel watching this movie, man. Dude, damn. That, those, that choreo was not bad, man. Dude, they tore his men up. I was, I'm glad, cause like I was kind of worried something bad was gonna happen to the captain. I really liked him. Did he hurt you, Captain? Did you tell him where your nephew and the girl went? So what's the problem? It's my reputation. No, 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 don't be silly, nonsense. You're so right, Captain. We always knew you were a whoopsie. <laughs> You'll always be our captain, Captain. Oh. Yeah, let's go, let's go. That made me a little... I'm, like, tearing up a little bit. They knew. They knew, and it was fine. Oh, he was so worried about that, too. Shit, dude, I'm, like, I'm actually tearing up a little bit. I met that woman. She's, she's friends with the captain. He said she trades at the market in the wall. Really? She's a friend of the captain, are you yes. sure? Yes. Oh, you're gonna find your mom. His mom's got to be somehow connected to the, the previous fallen star. It's obviously very valuable to you, so you can have it in exchange for what I need. A Babylon candle? I don't deal in black magic. Really? Okay, can you give us a lift then? Mm. To the wall? Why didn't you say so in the first place? Mm. So the candle's black magic. Interesting. I swear, if I don't get my Tristan back as he was, I'll be your personal... My partner. Tristan. <laughs> God, how all these different threads are like tying back in on themselves is entertaining as fuck, dude. Tristan. But yeah, there's gotta be some connection between the mom and the previous fallen star, but I don't, I don't know what it would be because apparently it was consumed. Or is it what's in this ruby? said only the whatever the rightful royal son could restore the the color to the ruby or whatever but to see the way that mankind loves i mean you could search the furthest reaches of the universe and never find anything more beautiful <laughs> that cut <laughs> little beady end of the <laughs> I'm trying to say, Tristan, is I think I love you. No. My heart, it feels like like my chest can barely contain it. Yeah, about that. That's not safe. Though the walk might take you a little longer than normal, transformation tends to leave the brain a bit scrambled for a while. Oh, well, she did put him back to normal. So 
Is he just hel- delusionary? That's not even a fucking word. Delusional? So I'm assuming he didn't hear any of that, or they at least doesn't remember it. Did you really mean what you said in the caravan? You were a mouse. You wanted cheese. You didn't... To give me a sign. Well, and, and, and risk you being too embarrassed to keep saying such lovely things. Aww. You want to know what the captain really whispered to me that day? Tap that ass. He told me that my true love was right in front of my eyes. Oh. And he was right. Dude, take her back to Wall and just flaunt her all over Victoria. <laughs> You're very close. She's in the market town, one mile from the gap in the wall. You speak as if this is good news. They have a pretty nice get set up here, man. Might need a little dusting or whatever, but they've got a nice fucking castle or whatever you want to call this. This dude literally lives here at this crack. Like, why just this part of the wall? Like, anybody can just climb over it. Like, it's not a tall wall. He left. He told me to tell you he's gone to see Victoria because he's sorry, but he's found his true love and he wants to spend the rest of his life with her. Oh, okay. I think it's a misunderstanding. He's not delivering that message right. He's going to Victoria so that he can tell her, piss off, I've found my true love, but that's not... How it was explained. Oh, 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 oh! We better get that showdown between him and Henry Cavill, man. Rematch. Huh. And she's gonna get captured and blah, 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 and he's gonna have to show up and save her. Who are you? Dude, the first act of this movie was sloppy as fuck, but the second act to now has just been like firing. <laughs> Get out of yourself. <laughs> Get fucked. Humphrey. Thorn. You said a death wish. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! Pa. H- Humphrey. Humphrey, it's alright. You really are a perfect couple. The best of luck to you both. Well, why would I want this? It's just a measly handful of stardust. Oh, the name of the movie! Bing. She can't cross the wall. No! I want you to beat his ass! <laughs> man, I just need to know the rules of this world, man. Go, go, go. So would she just turn to dust if she crosses the barrier? Like... Is that why? Stop. If you go through there, you'll die. What? Oh, wow. So that was it. Ah, Where have you taken me? Wow. What's it to be, Ditchwater, Sarah? Heads or tails? Oh! Wow. Oh, she's free. She's free. She's not going anywhere. I think you'll find she is. It's all right. You can come too. No! God damn it. Dude, old dude needs to get in there and bust some ass. Master Roshi style. What happened? Uh, be my guest. I quit. <laughs> He got that back at least. So that's going to come back around. That's going to come into play. So he's got that. He's got a sword. He's got this like lightning bottle, lightning cannon. We still have Mark Strong out there running around too, looking for everybody. There's so much going on in this movie, man. Hey, there he is. Is that why the mother couldn't go, go across either? Because she's also a star. She would have crossed over and she would have died. Does that make sense? 
Oh, wait. She's a princess. So the mother had to have been married to the king. The, the queen was the star. She's, she's like half star. Was she just like boiled in half? Again, I'm just projecting, theorizing. No idea. But we'll see. Oh, wow. Now, how did he find his way here, by the way? Oh, Jesus. Who are you? Who are you? What business do you have here? <laughs> Number seven. <laughs> are you fucking serious? His name is seven. His identity is seven. He's marked seven. Good job. Answer my question. What are you doing here? I might ask you the same thing. He's learned. Hell yeah, man. <laughs> there are four Dude, fine hair club here right now. How do I know you can be trusted? You don't. Why do you have a choice? Yeah. Well, let's go. <laughs> that was your plan? Luna. Septimus. Sister. Sister. Okay, so we all knew that. And we know Tristan's royal blood. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Is, is he done? Is that how he goes? Nope, nope, nope. He's still up. He's still standing. He's still strong. Oh, Jesus. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. it's so floppy. <laughs> oh, that's no good. We had an X Files episode like this. Oh, not like that. Oh, that's eerie. Oh, yeah. Oh, you are fucked. <laughs> so what's it to be, Prince Charming? Frog? A tadpole? Oh, the 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 the, the thing, the flower. I mean, don't reveal it. Don't reveal it. That's your secret. You idiot. Wow, it didn't work against that. Oh, oh. Oh, that's wicked. I mean, if she's puppeteering it, it's not going to be this coordinated. She's over there like, she's not even looking at the fight. How is she doing this? Classic chandelier drop. <laughs> Whoops, wrong one. Um. It all seems meaningless now. My sisters are dead. Everything I cared about. Gone. <laughs> oh. Like they said earlier, what's the point of immortality if you got no one to share it with? That's an interesting turn. I honestly would not have saw that coming. Gives her a little bit of sympathy, even though she's mad. <laughs> mm. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. Fuck me. I owe you thanks, boy. What use was her heart to me when it was broken? And you got rid of my sisters. Oh, oh, it was just a... Okay, never mind. Taking it back. It was a... a ploy. Oh, 
Hold me tight and close your eyes. What? Why? What do stars do? Dude, she's gonna she's gonna Gandalf her ass. I know now. Kingdom Hearts is light. Dude, she just got ansomed. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Holy shit, dude. Dude, these guys just literally being in this movie to be a cutaway, like, audience is kind of hilarious. No star can shine with a broken heart. I thought I'd lost you. You came back. Of course I did. I love you. <laughs> uh, but she can't come to the other side, so he can't go flaunt her around in front of Victoria. Yeah, what's the deal with this thing, though? What's the origin of that thing? And it's a ruby again. <laughs> They're all like, uh... You mother... <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Do they get to, do their souls get to actually rest? Dan, he won out in the end. Got himself a hot star, babe. He's the king of this fantasy land. Ah! <laughs> He's got himself a little pirate crew. They got to come hang out. Look at us, Salty Victoria, fuck you! Henry Cavill's not even like upset. He's just like, oh, nice. But Victoria's so salty, man. I know too many, I've known too many Victorias, man. I might be a little salty, but still, fuck you. We need to fix this barrier though. Oh. It is hilarious though that they even got invited because it is also so petty <laughs> as well on their part. My gift to you. So was she the star, like the old one or no? I'm so confused about, oh, the new candle, but that's black magic. They ruled for 80. I'm so confused on her, on his mom though. Can live forever, except he who possesses the heart of a star. And Yvain had given hers to Tristan completely. Hmm, without having to have it tear, torn out. It was time to light the Babylon candle. And they still live. No. Happily ever after. That's that's too cute. That's too fucking cute. You lied. Oh, this was Matthew Vaughn. That explains the Mark Strong connection. Okay, guy, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Like in the first act of this, I was I was kind of like, okay, finally we've got one. I'm not really feeling completely honest. That first act, especially the first 10 to 15 minutes, like the setup was so sloppy. It felt so out of order. However, once all the setup was out of the way, and once the adventure kind of started, my God, did I have fun with this. Like, it was fun. Like, it was goofy. It knew it was goofy. So it was, I don't know if self-aware is the white, right word. I think, like, starting off, I wasn't sure exactly the tone the movie was going for. But, like, it had this, like, humor to it all. It was w so bonkers, so wacky, but so fun. So warm. And just the slapsticky nature of it all. The brothers just trying to off each other, poison each other. Try The one getting just straight up pushed off the ledge. And then... 
just how they kept dying and the witches getting involved. Like, and then Tristan starting off like with this like toxic crush, which we've I feel like we've all kind of been there, especially in the in our, our younger years when like we're kind of clouded with what's really important, what we really are looking for. I think we could kind of all relate to that in a way, but like, you know, looking at it from the outside in, from that perspective, it's so infuriating because we can kind of see what he's not seeing, you know, that she doesn't love him. Like her love for him is only as tangible as the things that can buy that love or what he can provide for her. Like she's bringing absolutely nothing to the table in this at all. I like that through the adventure, even though it was so hilarious that this started off as this whole like Stockholm syndrome. I'm going to capture this woman and turn her over to my love as a proof of my devotion. And this whole thing just tornadoed out of control. Like from that point onward into this wacky, heartwarming kind of tale and adventure through this world that honestly, at the end of the day, they didn't really expand upon or exp explain all that much. You just kind of have to roll with it and accept it. And I had so much fun, man. I really did. From the the black market a vendor to the witches, uh, to the one hag who had enslaved his mother, which I'm still kind of confused about. Was she supposed to be the star that fell or was that someone else? Like they looked very similar on that table. Like when we flash back to the original star, that the last star that fell. Am I wrong? I don't know. Correct me about that. Because there's got to be a reason why she couldn't cross the wall. Can nobody from that side of the wall cross the barrier? Or just stars? I'm so confused about some elements about how this world works, and I wish it would have kind of explained a little bit about it. Moderately from In the Future Omni here. I was so curious about the previous fallen star that was shown in the in the flashback and how that connected. And if it was even the same actress as the mother, cause that was my working theory as I was watching it. But no, that they have no connection. And another thing that I found out while looking at this, that again, I didn't know going into this was that this was a, based on a Neil Gaiman book. I'm becoming a huge fan of his work over the last couple of years. So that was a nice little refreshing thing. And it also kind of makes a lot of things in this make a little more sense. So I was really like trying to draw that connection about that first star, but that wouldn't have made sense because they had some of that star still remaining that they were consuming. And I was just like, well, how did the mom get indentured to this other witch? I was part of the same little like coven once upon a time. And it was just, she was just a witch's slave. That was it. That was it. Charlie Cox was charming as fuck. Claren Danes, charming as hell and damn fine. <laughs> Michelle Pfeiffer always plays a bad bitch so well. Man, and I loved seeing her in this, and she was so she was a lot of fun. Her like attempts to capture the star's heart was so much fun, and the way that these parallel storylines were all just kind of doing their own thing and kind of playing together was a lot of fun. And Robert De Niro as this like eccentric like pirate who doesn't really want to be a pirate. He just kind of took over the family business because that's what was expected of him. But he's more obsessed with the things on our side of the world. He's never really had like this attachment. So through them, he's like living vicariously and he's collected all these outfits and stuff where he gets to frolic and play and pretend to be from the other side in this other way. And it's a lot of fun. And then the that whole like reveal that his crew knew that about him the entire time, but you know, didn't try to break the veil as well just to make sure that he was still comfortable. God damn. I think that was the that was the only part in the movie that actually got me to tear up, and it was it was cute, man. That was really beautiful. That was one of the, my favorite moments in the entire film. But this whole thing was just fun. I literally had zero expectations going into this film. I didn't know what it was going to be about. It really hooked me after a little while. It just had this charm, and there's so many people in this that I just didn't expect. Hold on a second. I want to double check something. Yeah. Okay. Ian McKellen was the narrator, so I, I was right about that. Holy shit, Ben Barnes was young Dunstan? I didn't even recognize him. I thought he looked familiar, but I really, I really could not place it. Kate McGowan, I know I said her name wrong before, but she was in GoldenEye, but I don't remember. I know she, I know who she played in that, but I, I don't recognize her from that. But like, I swear, I, th I thought I recognized her from somewhere else. Oh, wow. So I did think it was kind of funny that Septimus was the seventh son and his name was Septimus. But now I didn't put together all of their names, man. Secondus, Cortus, Quintus, Primus. What? 
Just imagine your dad is so uninventive with his names that he literally numbers you. Peter O'Toole, that was the king. I thought he looked so familiar. There were so many faces in this movie that I was just like, God, I know you from somewhere, but I just cannot place it. I do like at the end of the day though, that Victoria got all of that shoved right up in her face. This was a fun movie, man. So guys, I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. This is another win. You guys win again. I wasn't sure about this one, but you guys pulled it off. It was just a whimsical, fun little adventure with some real dark humor in it that I really didn't expect. I think that was some of the elements of it that really caught me off guard with the most was the sense of humor and just how dark it could be at times. It was really witty. I mean, I don't know what else to say, but guys, what did you think? Sound off the comments. Let me know your thoughts down below. We'll carry on the conversation after the video. If you guys enjoyed this reaction, please leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. Remember, if you want to see the following three reaction, check it out over on Patreon or if you've got a member of the channel, get you access as well. And also over there is where you get to suggest and vote on what movies to react to each month. So don't forget about that. If you want to put forth your suggestion and maybe next time, it might be the one to win that poll. And speaking of, before we go, I want to shout out our channel legends. Manny Sher, Ryan, Karen, Jason Coleman, Philly Vane, Yori Coruscant, Margaret Grace, Melita, Robert Anguiano, Raven McGann, Jeffrey Hale, M. Sephiroth, Jake and Charles, Josh Lee, and Tiff. Thank you guys so much for your continued support and everybody who's been supporting the channel and helping us do what we do here and making these things possible for you guys. Love you all. That's it for this video. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.